hands. Amen. If we yeah. just give it all to him, yes, just, Lord. just take our flesh today, Lord God, you, Lord. and do what you need to do, Lord. In Jesus mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Let's go ahead and worship the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Come on, press into him. He loves you. The devil is a liar. He loves you with an incorruptible love. He never will fail you. Lord God, oh Lord God, in your presence, Lord God, 
there is healing in your presence, Lord. We are made whole, Lord.
Christ, amen. A new opportunity today. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. You'll never leave us, never forsake us. Everything is made new.
Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Yes, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Jesus, Lord, have your way, Lord. You are the perfect one, holy, holy in all your ways, and yet you love us just like we are. We are perfectly loved, Lord. Have your way today, Lord God. We thank you for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Pastor David. Bring on the dynamite. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Could I ask Brother Moore to come up and say a prayer for the service? Amen. And this is our dear Brother Moore. Amen. That Amen. The Lord has added to the church. Amen. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne, God, asking for your presence, Lord. Asking to receive a ram of word from your speaker, God an anointing speaker, oh God, and we, we have open hearts, God, and open sitting, yes, God, of you just moving in our yes, hearts, God, Jesus, bringing us closer yes. into your love, closer into your spirit, God, and we ask all these great things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Amen. 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 There's some big, these are some big steps here. Amen. <laughs> well, you know what? God is moving. Amen. I, amen. you know, I, I want to hear a testimony from Brother James. Amen. We saw Hallelujah. James walk up blessed to the, to the family event. Amen. And you got two minutes to share a testimony. Okay. Cause we're already amen. running kind of low late on the service, but come on up. Okay. All right. He's time right here. Okay. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God's Lord. doing a lot of new things in our brother James. Thank and, you, Lord. Amen. And we want to just uh, get a little nugget of Amen. what God is doing. Amen. 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 Come on up. Okay. Welcome, everyone, to All Truth Church. Thank you, Lord. Father, before I begin with this two minutes, let me say glory be to you. Amen. And Amen. thank you for forgiving us for our sins yes. and our trespasses and relieving us of yes. all of our debts. Yes, God. As we continue to do for those as you have done for us. Yes, Lord. We also <laughs> forgive our brothers and sisters, each and one of us that yes, trespass God. against us and their debts that they may owe us. Yes. We give it all to Jesus Christ yes. for he will soon return. Yes, Let's prepare our hearts, our mind, and remain sober yes, to sir. stay focused that he is about to arrive. Hallelujah. The testimony that I have is brief and is straight to the point. A rough two months ago, give or take, let's say three, uh, around August, I was doing food, food distribution with the Garcia Center and there was a guy and he mistaken me for a trespasser and he approached me with a semi-automatic pistol mm. pointed at my face safety off ready to pull the trigger we exchanged a few words but my words was kind I humbled myself even before the fact that I saw the pistol. Amen. And I said, I'm not here for that. I'm here to help feed the homeless. He said some words that was profound. And <coughs> basically, he ordered me to leave the premises. <coughs> he says, I don't like your troubles. Don't come over here. I know what your intentions are. I don't care what you're doing. Fortunately, the people that was there with me backed me up and they verified that I was there distributing food for the homeless. So with that being said, this is amazing how God operates. Yes. I now am his co-worker working uh, in the same store <laughs> as he is today. And the man who runs the store, the owner, he referred to him, to me, as one of theirs, as family. And I am part of the working Amen. ship. And he told him, he says, from now on, you look after him, for he works for me, like you do. And he looks at me and he says the same thing. Treat him fair like you treat me. And 
I said, you got it. From that, I say glory to God. Amen. Because it's only the power of God who can put this yes. together. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And it is a true testimony. Very, very real. And it can be verified in five different ways. Amen. Pastor David, I want to turn it over back to you. Thank you guys for allowing me to speak. Amen. This Hallelujah. It is very, very true. Amen. Amen. Powerful testimony, man. That brought joy to my heart, man. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Well, we have Brother Marcelino, amen. Amen. Man amen. of God. Amen. And we love Marcelino, amen. Hallelujah. We love him like my little brother. Amen. I don't like saying son because how many know we have only one father, amen? amen. <laughs> but I love him like my little brother, man. And he's he's a great man and God God's working in him. And one thing one thing about Marcelino is that he's a blessing, amen. Amen. He has a heart for the church. He has a heart for people. He loves yeah, people. And I could see the hand of God upon this this young man here. Amen. And I know God has a great purpose for him. He might yes, see God bringing things in order in his life. Amen. And and the best is yet to come for you, Marcelino. Right. Amen. Yeah. Well, we, we want to hear what God has to say. Come on. Can I get just a touch up of volume? Just Absolutely. You got, got it. You got it. Thing going on. Just a little volume. Yeah, I'll, 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 um, I'll tune you up. Let me know. All right. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. All right, we're going to do a mic check. Hopefully that sounds better. Um, I had a little issues with my throat earlier. You know, it's funny. That sounds great, Pastor. Thank you. Um, before I get started, I, I'd just like to um, go into prayer real fast uh, before I say anything. So again, just uh, if you agree with me in prayer. Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity, Lord Father God. Lord Father, I... I Come to you humbly to your to your place here, Lord Father God, for the Holy Spirit to speak through me, Lord Father. Nothing of my account, Lord, but to your words would be spoken loud and clearly, Lord Father God. I ask, Lord, that you would open our ears, Lord, so we can hear your word, Lord Father God. Open our eyes so we can see what is going on, Lord Father God. I ask, Holy Spirit, that you would you would do your work in us, Lord Father. And we can come obedient to your word and it will stand out and we can live humbly and, and obedient to your word, Lord. Less, less of me and more of you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And let this message be blessed to everyone who sees it and to hear it. And let it be plentiful and be spread throughout the nations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, guys. Well, thank you, everybody. Welcome to All Truth Church Fire Fridays. Um, you know, it was uh, spoken to me that I was going to be speaking again. And I was like, well, you know, I didn't think it was going to be this soon. So um, happily uh, up here again, uh, uh, again, humbled that uh, I got the chance to speak up here. So um, before we get started, so I, I was asking the Lord, well, I don't know really what I'm going to speak on yet. And you know, the Lord's always speaking different things to me. And I was just waiting. Uh, usually, I, I like things to be in, um, I don't know, how would you say, uh, confirmation, confirmed, yes. Yes. more than once, because again, I don't want to go on my own accounts. I want to make sure that it is coming from directly from our Lord God. Yes. And so the Holy Spirit uh, brought it to my attention that, yes, this was a message I was going to speak tonight. Amen. And that message tonight is going to be in uh, unforgiveness. Amen. So. Amen. Um, Amen. hopefully Amen. this speaks to somebody out there. I know, uh, personally, the Lord has been, uh, touching base with me on this issue. Amen. Again, um, is one of these subjects that again means a great deal to me personally. And again, with my brothers and sisters, I, I know there's a, a lot to go in with this. And, um, as far as the studying goes, uh, I hope you have your pen and paper ready. Come on. Yeah. There's, uh, 30 scriptures, 30. 30. That I found yeah. that deals with the unforgiveness. Yeah. So before I do any of that, I'm just going to uh, get into my first little notes here. So, <clears throat> so what it says is unforgiveness is a sin that causes bitterness in our lives. Yes. That's in Hebrews 12, 15. Yes. So um, the Lord is speaking to me about unforgiveness. And um, again, personally, you know, when I first started walking with Christ, you know, I didn't know much. I didn't know what really how, how to be i know you have to be christ-like i know that there's a lot of uh you know things that you got to give up sacrifice and whatnot Amen. and walk more like jesus 
um, on the other level, I, there's things that I do and that I did that I didn't know that I was supposed to be doing. Um, that big one thing is unforgiveness. Um, and uh, the Lord says, you know, you must forgive in order to be forgiven. Uh, I do have that in scripture here, so I will get back to you on that. Um, let me just say this, what I, I, I was uh, studying on it is uh, the root cause of unforgiveness. Yes. Okay. So once we figured that out, we can kind of see where we're going with that. Um, what is the root cause of unforgiveness? It is claimed that the root of bitterness is fermenting unforgiveness. This most frequently happens when someone emotionally steals something from us and doesn't allow us to reclaim it. So I don't know about you, but me personally, I've been uh, robbed of my joy in the past. You know, again, um, the, the devil's here to rob, steal, and destroy. Yes. And, you know, being a new Christian back in 2010, I believe, or 2009, actually, um, it's been many years. Um, there was a lot of things that I didn't understand. Again, the Lord was working with me, and I had a lot of bitterness. Amen. And there was things and people and situations that I uh, I guess you could say I hadn't released to the Lord yet. Amen. You know, there was a lot of things I took on with me as, as a young uh, child, you know, grew up into being a teenager, into a young man, and again, into my adult life. Um, again, the Lord opened my eyes on these things and situations, and I had no clue that unforgiveness can make you a really, really, you know, different person. Yes. You know, the Lord worked with me and is still working with me. And I'm sure he's working with you as well. Yes. You know, there's um, things that happen in our lives sometimes that just, you know, for example, on the way over right now, I'm in prayer. I have my Paul Wilbur on and I'm getting ready. And I'm like, ooh, you know, it's going to be on. It's going to be fires coming. The Lord speaking to me already on the message, you know, and this is this is. Oh, my God. Ooh, man. Somebody help me. This is this is where it's so powerful. So I'm on the freeway right here on the 215. You know, it's bumper to bumper. I live in Riverside. And I'm driving. I got the, you know, my Paul Wilbur on. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. And all of a sudden, this big truck. I drive a truck. It's not the biggest, but it's big enough. This big truck comes in front of me and just comes out of nowhere and cuts me off. So I'm just like, wow, you're, you're going to cut me off. Now, this is what... The Lord is the Lord is showing me. He's like, man, just like um, you know, Psalms ninety one. Again, you got to be ready for the darts. You got to be ready. You got to always have that armor of God on. So I'm coming here ready, pumped up, and like I said, this truck comes out of nowhere and just cuts me off. And I'm like, you know, first thing I hit the brakes, slow down. And I'm like, oh, and I'm like, okay, and then I'm like, okay, all right. I see where it's at. I'm already shaking just talking about it. Lord, help me. I'm like, Lord, help me. Again, this is the, the this is how the enemy uses people sometimes. But not only that, we can't give credit to the enemy every time something goes down. You know what I mean? A lot of times, the Lord allows us things to go through. Right? Trials and tribulations. And so, for this reason, I was like, all right. So, the enemy may have used this guy. Or the Lord's showing me, okay, I've given you a word. Now, are you going to go to church being mad and upset? We're talking about unforgiveness today. I'm like, ooh, come on now. I said, okay, Lord, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. As soon as I relinquished and let it go and repent, I said, Lord, ooh, I'm, okay, Lord, you know what? I looked at the truck. I said, you know what? I forgive you in Jesus' name. And I just got my peace back and kept driving to church. And now here I am saying, you know, but it was crazy because, you know, if, if I didn't take time to say, hey, you know what, and recognize what was really going on, yes. I, I would still be upset or I'd come to church upset and I wouldn't be able to do what God wants me to do yes. here now. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's times like that we got to recognize, we got to stop yes. and just yeah. look and, and, and see the situation. Amen. Take a second or two, come back to the Lord, focus on the Lord and let him guide you and the Holy Amen. Spirit will come Hallelujah. through. And again, thank you, Jesus, because I, I didn't want my I didn't want to take my joy. I'm like, I was I can say I was pumped up, ready to come to church. And this chart come out of nowhere. But you know, I gave it to God and here I am. But it's things like that, you know, if we can just take the, that second, that time to just 
you know, be ready. Yes. You gotta be ready. Yes. Again, the freeway is crazy. People, it's Friday night. You know, they're coming all crazy, and I'm just trying to get to church. I got, you know, traveling mercies, and I'm just like, all right, Lord. But that's how the Lord does. You know what I mean? He, he showed me. He's like, okay, you're gonna talk about some, but you gotta, you gotta practice what you preach. You know what I mean? My actions are louder than words, and I just thank you, Lord, that nothing happened. I was able to give it to God, but that was just a little example. You know what I mean? Again, as soon as things happen, we got to take that time to go back and just give it back to God. You know what I'm saying? Because we leave that window open too long. You know who's going to come in and they're trying to get his way up in here. And you know what I mean? We can't have all that. We ain't doing all that. We're going to shut him down. We're going to step on his head. We're going to step on his head and cover by the blood of Jesus. Amen. So anyways, let me get back here. Now, what is the root? cause of unforgiveness okay uh, i think i just said that but we'll go over it one more time it is claimed that the root of bitterness is fermenting unforgiveness this most frequently happens when someone emotionally steals something from us and doesn't allow us to reclaim it okay so again we can't let nobody or no situations or anything like that take our happiness take our joy from us you know what i mean uh, god didn't make us uh, to be in, in in fear, he didn't make us to be uh, sad. He didn't, you know, he didn't do all that. We got to just stay strong, you know. We got to follow the cross. So let me see here. It says what God says about not forgiving. Okay, it says, but if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Yes. So that's one thing that stands out to me, and. Um, You know, when I I first started learning uh, God's word, I was like, you know what? I have a lot of unforgiveness. I didn't even know about all that. And, you know, I'm trying to do everything right. So I'm like, okay, I need to start uh, forgiving some things here. And, uh, you know, it's just like I learned a long time ago. It's it's like you're an onion. Let's use this example. You're an onion and there's layers to it, right? And the Lord's working with you and is peeling back layers and layers at a time. You know what I'm saying? Not everything's going to happen overnight, right. but you're going to allow the Lord to work in your life and your situations Hallelujah. to move those things. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. Again, you got to be willing. You got to be ready and let him to do this things. You know what I mean? The Lord won't go against our will. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give it up and let it let him do what he's got to do. You know what I mean? Again, some of us are stubborn. Some of us are prideful. You know, I'm speaking for myself as well. And uh, we need a little help. Yeah. Even when we don't yeah. think we do, we need it. Yeah. And, you know, I made this uh, uh, daily prayer that, Lord, the things that I do in this day or this whatever happens situations, I may not know I did. So please forgive me for what I have done today. Yeah. You know what I mean? That way I could cover all my bases because we don't see certain things. Like I say, things can happen in, in an instant. And, you know, you got worked up and you didn't even know you got worked up. But you're so busy doing things. You at work. You you know, somebody told you something. You got mad for a second. But you didn't go back to the Lord and say, hey, Lord, I'm sorry. You know, I was thinking bad. Oh, yeah. you know, he's lucky I wasn't still in the world. You know, I, I took him out. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, get those little, we get those little ideas sometimes. You know what I mean? We're only human. We're only human. But, you know, it's, it's, it's things like that. We got to go back to the Lord and say, hey, Lord, you know, what I mean? I'm sorry about that, Lord. You know, the, the world getting up on me again, you know. We got to take it back to the Lord. Got to repent because, again, the Lord is coming. We, we want to make sure we cover all of our bases. We don't want no unforgiveness in our hearts. You know what I mean? And, again, we got to lead by example. You know what I'm saying? We got family members. We got new brothers and sisters in Christ. We, we want to show them, right? You know, again, we all fall short of the glory of God. But again, we want to be an example to those. You know what I mean? We got to be an example. And again, none of us are perfect. We're all under construction. You know, like Pastor said, we're, we're still getting there. We're never going to get there. But you know what, Lord? I'm willing. Use me. Use me. Use me. You know what I mean? Amen. But, um... You know, I'm just saying we, we got to try our best here again. Uh, the word says we have to look out for our brothers and sisters. So be our brother's keeper. Thank you, Lord. But um, let me see what I got here. I got some more good stuff here, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. I got I found uh, 30 scriptures Amen. that deal with unforgiveness. So again, you know, I hope you got your pens ready. Pen, pencil and paper. All right. So let me see. It says, yeah, so for I will forgive. Okay. Okay. What God says about not forgiving. If you don't forgive others their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. Okay, we got that. And we we gotta be we we need forgiveness from our Lord, you know. If we confess our sins, he's faithful 
and just to forgive us yes. our sins and to cleanse us from unrighteousness. Amen. Now, amen. amen. Because again, if, if we can't do that, then how is he going to do that for us? That's you know right. what I mean? Amen. So amen. again, this is this is a, a strong, strong thing. We got to live by every day. And again, when we find ourselves not um, in agreement with the Lord's word, you know, things can happen and they can happen real quick. So we got to be prepared. We got to be vigilant. We got to be ready. You know, like that song, stay ready, you got to be ready. You know what I mean? <laughs> Praise God. But um, it says, uh, yeah, for I will forgive their wickedness and re will remember their sins no more, Hallelujah. says the Lord. So praise God for that. I got some more little tidbits here, guys. So some things that you might say, well, what's unforgiveness? Okay, well, we're speaking about some little things. Like I say, got worked up, got a little angry. There's fruits of unforgiveness. Yeah. Now, again, some of those can, examples are, are, are uh, anger, resentment, yeah. and bitterness. Yeah. Now, again, this is this is talking from experience. Yeah. Talking from experience. I'm sure all you guys might have went through this yourself. Yes. 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 Now, say you caught yourself back. I don't know. Anytime now. Think Just think about this one time. You got so worked up. You got so mad at somebody or the situation. Let's, let's say it's a person, right? Yes. You got so mad at this person. And you were so mad. It's like, man, you know, you can, you can, you didn't know what to do with yourself. You know, you're like, what am I doing? You're so mad. You can't even think straight. You know, yes. you forgot what two plus two is. Yes. You're all messed up. Yes. This whole time, say you went through, I don't know, a month. Say, let's start with slow. Let's start, say, let's say a week. You were mad. And, you know, this guy got you all worked up and you're all huffy and puffy. You're working around. And it's been a whole week. You still see this cat and you're still mad about something. You know what I mean? Yes. And you're like working and you got this, you know, unforgiveness on you. And, and, you know, little by little, it's just kind of pushing you down, weighing you down. But you're still mad. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So you're taking this on. You're going back and forth with it. You know, this week, you still got this unforgiveness with you and you haven't squashed it. You haven't squashed nothing. You're still mad. You're still puffed up. You're still full of pride. Yeah. You take into the second week. Now the second week, you still swelled up. You still ready. You still pumped up. You still see him. You still mad at him. Oh man, come on. You still mad at him. You working every day. You looking at him. You still going mad, man. Man, I look at this guy. But you ain't doing nothing about it. Right. So now this week's turn into a month. Okay, the month you still going at it instead of instead of saying, you know what, what can I do to handle this situation? You get this unforgiveness around you. Now it's just like some weights tied up on you, you know. Yeah. But you still puffed up. You still swollen. You know what I mean? You still mad. You still, you know what I mean? You still got that hood in you. You still straight. You still thug life. It's all good. You know what? After weeks, after days, you take it that far into months. Man, come on. You're going into months now. This whole time, this cat that you, you know, may have had a bad day. He may have, he may not have had a coffee that morning. You know what I'm saying? He woke up late. Now he's mad at everybody at work. And, and he just happened to catch you at the wrong time I'm over there by the coffee machine. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're over here mad thinking, oh, this guy, you know, and he hasn't said, uh, uh, you know, excuse me. He hasn't apologized. So you're carrying this all with you for days, for weeks, for months. You know what I mean? This time, this month's turned into a year. Man, you still got that? After a year, you still mad at this guy? This guy, okay, check this out. This guy, after a year of you being mad at him, this guy's over here just been doing his thing. Yeah. He didn't even know you was mad at him. Yes. Come on now. So this whole time, you've been mad and you've been carrying it all around and this and that. This guy over here been living his life like ain't nothing but a thing, baby. Right. None but a thing. Amen. He's just been doing him. Amen. So this whole time you have this unforgiveness for this guy. He's, man, life is good. He didn't even know about you. He ain't swaying the small stuff. He didn't even know about it. Wow. So here you go being all puffy and pride. Don't want to unforgive nobody. You know, you just kind of take, take, taking it with you and living with it every day. So every day you come to work, you're getting all mad already, you know. And just because this guy said something. So you let that little thing turn into something. That little thing turned into something bigger. Yes. That other yes. thing turned into something bigger. Yes. So by you not shutting it down, you just let that thing keep building up. Yes. But like I said, who, who's who's feeling it at the end of the day? You or him? Yes. 
Like I he wow. he don't even know nothing about that. Yeah. He's like, man. He's like, oh, what's up, player? You know what I mean? He, he, he's like, everything's good over here, but you're over here all puffed up, and you mad, and you wasting time, you wasting being happiness. You know, you you over here like, man, you every day you ready to you're like, you know, you ready for someone to jump off? You come on now, you know what I mean? This guy over here just living his life, doing his thing, but you let that little opportunity, you let that situation go and go and go and go. You let it get so big, it's just like, it's out of control now. Yes. You done lost a week, you done lost a month. You've lost a lot of time being unhappy, yeah. being miserable, yeah. being pumped up, yeah. letting them take your joy. We can't allow that to happen. Yeah. We can't yeah. allow that to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Again, I'm speaking from experience. I, I didn't know better. I didn't know better. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, I'm, you know, I'm tough, I'm tough. You know, it's funny, my, my grandpa, Rest in peace. He used to he used to get into a little action back in the days. You know, he was in the navy and then bar fights. You know, being the, being a little you know little boxer that he was. But uh, he, he was always saying, you know what? He told me, grandson. He said, I'm a bad tough guy. I'm a bad hombre. He would say, you know, I'm a bad man. You know, Johnny Montez. He would say, I'm bad. I'm bad. But you know what? He told me he goes, there's always someone better out there. So you gotta be careful. I'm like, all right, that, that's good words, but again, that's that that's being in the world, right? Yeah. That's being in the world. You know what? And I appreciate those words though, because I always already like I may be bad, but yeah, there is somebody better. I ain't even gonna try to go there. Right. I ain't uh-uh. I ain't trying to fight. I'll be like, uh, where's a little contract? We'll be friends, a shake on you know what I mean? But I had to go through some things. I had to learn, I had to learn. You got in a few fights, you know, I got touched up a bit too, but you know what I mean? Again, uh, life life shows you a lot of different things, yeah, but hallelujah. you know, at a young age, I didn't I didn't know any better. And again, uh, we're all work in progress. Yeah. You start getting older and you, like, you start seeing things a little different. You know, like I say, a young kid, you just, you know, going all crazy and whatnot. You start getting to junior high, you're like, you know, figuring things out a bit. You get into high school, oh boy, high school is a whole different level. Amen. You know what I mean? You got people over here double crossing you, people over here doing this, people being this. I'm like, man, you got to watch your back. Literally, even some of your friends could do you wrong. Some of your own family. Amen. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I thought you were supposed to have my back. Amen. I know, you know, where did everybody go? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, man, I, I was like, we're going to do this. And there ain't nobody over there. It's just me. Like, man, Amen. ain't that right? That's crazy, you know what I mean? But that unforgiveness, can it can go a long ways. And, and again, the thing about it is we got to recognize it. We got to let it go. We, we want to shut that window. We want to shut that door. We don't want the enemy to get in there. You know what I mean? But thank you, Jesus, for that. Um, so that's just a little background, just a little background. I do got Bible verses here, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. But I, I, just had to, I just had to say that, man. This is like... You know what? It's better better to learn than not learn at all. Amen. And again, I'm a work in progress. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm learning how to deal with it. I'm learning how to give it away. Again, every day we, we learn something new. And again, this just happened to me recently too at work. And I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, some, I, this is a true story. Somebody got caught on the wrong day. And I said, oh, I'm like, man, I could, get, I could go back into the world or am I going to do it? And I said, you know what? Let's take it to the Lord. I went down my little corner, took a few minutes. Say, Lord, ooh, I, this ain't this ain't gonna, this ain't mine, Lord. This is yours. Please deal with it. And you know what? Praise God, the Lord dealt with it. Amen. Yeah. Later, by the end of the day, a coworker was apologizing to me, and, and I was like, man, you know that I, I ain't trying to be, you know, no enemies over here. I'm just trying to have some brotherly love, just trying to do a thing. You know what I mean? But God was there. God presented himself. God Hallelujah. made things happen. Amen. And and the thing is, I had to recognize it. I had to judge it. And I had to see and step out the box, say, you know what? I can just go crazy over here. We could be back in the world. We can do this. You know what I mean? Or am I going to do the right thing with Christ? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I took that time to recognize. And I just said, Lord, you know what? Ooh, I'm mad, Lord. Like, really? I was mad. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was like, this ain't cool. I'm like, but I'm like. Take that breather, you know what I mean? I said, Lord, help me right now because I, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to go backwards yeah. at all. At all. I'm trying to go straight up, you know. 
again, I got I got to be an example. I got to yes. be an example. Amen. And if I can't show that example, even at work, you know, people watching, hopefully yeah. friends and family, co-workers, much love, much love. <laughs> I'm speaking to everybody out there. And ain't just people here in the church today. I'm talking to my family, my friends. Yes. We all Hallelujah. dealt with some kind of unforgiveness in our yes. lives, yes. you know. Things that are, are seen, things that are unseen, we just got to give it to the Lord and let the Lord work in on our lives. You know what I'm saying? And we can even stand in the gap for others. Amen. You know, they they might be dealing with some unforgiveness. They don't even know about it. Yes. They caught up. They caught up. They don't even know about it. So we can stand in the gap for them and let the Lord work on their hearts. You know what I mean? Amen. Let the Lord peel away them layers Amen. like that onion. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And, uh, you know, it's, it's all on the Lord. He can do whatever he want to do. But let's just get it out there. Let's let's put it to petition. Let's put it into prayers, requests, and let the Lord do his work, you know, in our lives. Amen? All right. So let me get into some scriptures, guys. Again, uh, some of the fruits of forgive, unforgiveness were torture, anger, uh, or excuse me, anger, resentment, and bitterness. Um, those are fruits of unforgiveness. Now there are um, there are um, how do I put that? Love's healing fruit, which is forgiveness. Amen. See, now it goes on the other level. Forgiveness is a love's healing fruit, so we can do that. So, if guys, if you guys got your Bibles ready, let's get into some scripture, God's word here. Again, I have thirty scriptures. We'll see how much we can get knocked out of here again for a shortness of time. But we're going to get the point here and the Lord's going to speak and do his will. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. So let's go here first. Um, I have uh, first John one nine. I have so many scriptures, but it's OK. Let's see what he got here. First John one nine. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to clean us from all unrighteousness. Amen. 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 That is a very, very powerful word. Again, Amen. that's that's kind of where it all begins. You know, the Lord says if we can't forgive, he, he's not going to forgive us. Amen. And that's where it's all it's all at. You know, we want to we want to unforgive so we can we can be forgiven and we can make it to heaven. Amen. And so let's go again. First John four twenty. First John four twenty. And that's going to be. If someone says I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. Amen. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, Amen. how can he love God, Amen. whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him. That he who loves God must love his brother also. Yes. So again, God's showing us we, we got to be in love. We got to be in love. Again, uh, unforgiveness is, is things that can happen. And uh, we just got to give it back to God. Amen. Yes, amen. All right, guys. So we got First uh, Peter 5, 7. First Peter 5, 7. All right, First Peter five seven says, one second here. First Peter five seven. There we go. Alrighty, Ooh, passed it up. First Peter five seven, casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. Let me let me go back just a little bit. Let's go first Peter five, six. It goes, therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon yeah. him for he cares for you. Amen. That is the word of God. It says in first Peter five, eight, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour Resist him, steadfast in the faith, yes. knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood Hallelujah. in the world. Hallelujah. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Yes. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's powerful. 
again, you know, the Lord is just sharing right there that the devil's ready to do his yeah, thing. So yeah. we got to be ready. We got to be vigilant. Yes. We got to be steadfast. We got to be sober minded. Amen. We got to be ready because, again, the Lord is coming back soon. And this world here is only temporary. You know, yeah. the Lord gives us instructions here in his word. Right. Uh, it's uh, our job to, to live by them and to uh, adhere and obey his word you, so we can get through the process of where we need to be, not only for us, but for our brothers and sisters, yeah. for the kingdom of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's go here. To, um, that was first Peter yes. five, seven. Let me go to second Peter one, nine, second Peter one, nine. That's just going to be the next, the next book. book. Yes, sir. Second Peter one, nine. Now, I got this um, uh, study Bible, so I got a little more <laughs> words over here, but bear with me, guys. Amen. All right. First, Second Peter 1, or, yeah, Second Peter 1, 9. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted, even to blindness, and has forgotten that he was <laughs> cleansed from his old sins. Wow. So that, again, is going with the unforgiveness the Lord's giving us all these little, these little tidbits wow. and, and nuggets, like our pastor said. You know, yeah. these words are really powerful. Yeah. Again, um, I like to go over certain things, and and you know, some people say, yeah. claim it, claim that scripture. You know what? That's true. Amen. You live by that scripture. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've been in the past where churches where they they be like, oh, you know, try to remember a scripture a week. You know, actually, it can be done. Yeah. It can be done. You just got to put a little practice. Got to yeah. put an effort to it. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of good stuff right here. I'm just saying. Ooh -wee. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Praise God. All right, guys. Let's go to Acts. The book of Acts. The book of Acts. Again, the unforgiveness. There's a lot of, lot of things here that we can speak on. And we're going to get through some of it tonight. But there's a lot you can study. I got all the scriptures, so if you want, we can we can change notes at the end of the service, and Amen. we'll get it going here. Amen. Amen. <laughs> all right, so let's go to Acts two, verse thirty-eight. Acts two, verse thirty-eight. Acts two, verse thirty-eight. Everybody there? Amen. Amen. All right. Then Peter said to them. Repent and let them, excuse me, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. for the remission of sins. Amen. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. For this promise is to you and to your children and to all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God will call. So again, that's that's telling us what we got to do. Remission of sins. Again, we got to present it to the Lord and say, Lord, please forgive me. We were going to repent for the things that I know, the things that I don't know. Just please forgive me for all that stuff going on. Amen. 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 All right. Let's go to Acts 3, verse 19. Right over. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. We're trying to make this as easy as possible. Amen. Amen. <laughs> all right. So it says, repent. Therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, you, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And that he may send Jesus Christ, who was, who was preached to you before, Thank you, Lord. whom heaven must receive until the times of restoration of all Thank things, you, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets, since the world began. Amen. You, amen. Yeah, amen. That is very good. I like that. All right. Let's go to Colossians 3.13. Colossians 3.13. Hallelujah. Got a few more, guys. Bear with me. I, I got to keep time on our, our time here. But, uh, just give me a little nudge and we'll... we'll <laughs> amen. <laughs> All right. So Colossians 3.13. You guys ready? Yes. All right. Amen. Bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, yes. so you must also do. Yes. But of all, above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Yes. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts yes. to who... 
to which also you were called in one body and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Amen. That's such a powerful word. I know I like that a lot. Oh, like, man, this is like, you know, when you start uh, studying a, a subject, it's like, man, this is how I get anyways. I, I, I see one little thing and next thing you know, every scripture is jumping out at you. I'm like, oh, this is good. And then when you start getting good, it starts getting better. You're like, oh, and then something up comes out. And I'm like, man, this is. And so before you know it, you got all this notes and scripture. I'm like, this is better than this one. This one then this one ties into that. And that's how good God is. Amen. Amen. This is like, man, this is so on fire. The fire of Fridays today. And yes. the Lord just, man, I, I just, it's hard to contain. <laughs> God is good. God is good. It's all right. Let, let me go. I'm going to go back now here. We're going to go one scripture. I don't know. For some reason, it, it's uh, in the Old Testament, the book of Daniel. So I'm, I'm uh, curious to see what this one has to say. Uh, book of Daniel. Uh Book nine, verse or check nine, chapter nine, verse nine, nine nine, Daniel nine nine. There you go. All right, guys. I think I only have a couple of Old Testaments, but we'll be all right. Amen. All right. Let's see what we got here. Book of Daniel. Book of Daniel nine nine. Yeah. All right. Let me see. I lost my notes here. Daniel 9 9. Oh, here we go. Alrighty. So, the book of Daniel 9 9. Oh, there we go. Wrong one. 9 9. Amen. We ready? Alright. To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. We have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God yes. to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Amen. So I'm just going to I'm going to leave it at that one there. Again, the Lord is telling us even Old Testament. Again, we, we got to obey. We got to come back. Yes. Those yes. that and, and the Lord knows that we have uh, done wrong. So we have to yes. come back to him again. Praise God for that. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Let me see what we got. Nine. Let's go to the book of Ephesians. I got a couple got a couple things for you over there. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise your name. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, guys. It's a lot of lot of things. There's no way I was going to be able to remember all these scriptures. So <laughs> got a lot of notes though. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Book of Ephesians. We're going to go to first chapter of Verse 7. Ephesians 1, 7. Amen. 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 All right. It says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Thank you, Lord. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, yes, God. according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of the times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth in him. In him also we have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. Thank you, Amen. Hallelujah. That's such a powerful Hallelujah. word. Uh, again, I, I have different scriptures here, guys. I know every scripture is going to speak to somebody differently. Yes. Thank Amen. You, Thank you, Jesus. So let's go to Ephesians 4.29. Ephesians 4.29. Ephesians 4.29. Amen. All right.
right. Let me actually, I'm going to rewind it a little bit, guys. I'm going to go to Ephesians 4, 25. Ephesians Amen. 4, 25. Ephesians 4, 25. Amen. It says, therefore, put away, putting away lying. Yes. Let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor. Yes. For we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Yes. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Amen. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Amen. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, yes, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Yes, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, mm -hmm. clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you, you with all malice. And be <laughs> kind to one another, <laughs> tenderhearted, Amen. forgiving one another, Hallelujah. even as God in Christ forgave you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So again, God, God's, God's got some powerful ways of uh, speaking right to our spirits, to our souls. Again, there's so many things of unforgiveness out there, guys. Um, again, the Lord, the Lord knows all. He knows all things. He knows all situations. Again, everything is to build, build for His glory. You know, He He loves us so much. And again, we can't do anything without the unforgiveness. So. I just um, had had to put something together for you. I, I'm not sure. I I don't have a watch on. So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, get it to a closing here. But um, you know, the Lord just I I felt it strongly this week that the Lord wanted us to deal with unforgiveness. Again, it's a it's a big thing that we need to be taken care of we need to address it again we can stand in the gap for families and friends um we have to forgive yes. you know yes. again it's not an easy thing there's situations and and things that can happen in our lives that we can hold on to Amen. but again if we're allow ourselves to give to god and let god do the work in us yes. it can be done Thank it can you. be accomplished yes. by amen. christ jesus by the blood of jesus amen amen, yes, amen. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. Um, again, the message was unforgiveness. Um, I still have a lot of scriptures to go. So if you guys want to get those, I, I have them available. Um, I just want to pray for those that are watching tonight. Those that are here in the service. Those that, um, those are that are going through unforgiveness right now. You know, I just want to lift you up in prayer. That the Lord would, would begin to soften your heart and that he would begin to work in you in a mighty way. Um, again, it, it all takes it all takes that one act of faith. It just needs an act by you to yes, say, Lord, yes, work Lord. in my life, work in my situations yes, for that unforgiveness that, you know, that you've been holding on to for so long. Yes. You know, again, um, there's people that have been robbed, yes. you know, of their joy. Yes. And that's not what God wants from us. No, no. You know, for us, uh, for us, right. none of us. Hallelujah. Again, we got to pray for each other, our, our our enemies. Pray for your enemies. Yes. You know what I mean. And um, you know, let, let's got let God do some work in 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 us. You know what I mean. Amen. Um. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a prayer here. Amen. Um. Lord, Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this time, Father God. Lord, I thank you for the word of unforgiveness that you given to me to. Uh, to share with our brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, Father God. I ask, Lord, that anybody out there watching, Lord, that if they have a deal with unforgiveness, Father God, if it's known to them or not known to them, Lord, Father, that you would be able to work with them in their situations, Lord, Father God, that you would start uh, healing them, Lord, and the procedure would be start rolling. Let, you know, you doing your work in their lives, Lord, Father God. Father, that they would... Um, be able to see and, and, and act in situations, Lord, Father God, where something were to come awry, Lord, that they would be able to solve it and come to you first, Lord, Father God, in all things in life, Lord, Father God. We just thank you, Lord, for the things you're doing in our lives, Father God. 
I just pray for the brothers and sisters, Lord, that are dealing with unforgiveness, Lord, that they would be able to give it to you, Lord, Father God, and that they would be set free, Lord, in, in the name of Jesus, Father God, get rid of that heavy burden that they may be carrying, Father, for so long, Lord, maybe, you know, let them have breakthrough, let them have uh, supernatural breakthroughs, Lord, Father God, let their joy be given back to them, Lord, Father God, restore them, Lord, the way that you want them to be, Lord, Father God. For you are of love, Lord. Let the fruits of the Spirit show mightily, Lord, Father. In Jesus' name, Father God, let them love one another, Father God. Let them pray for their enemies, Lord, Father God. Let them give all situations to you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for the things that you're doing in our lives, Father God. I ask again, Lord, in Jesus' name, that you would set them free tonight, Lord, Father, that the Spirit of unforgiveness is broken in the name of Jesus and that they are healed, that their joy has been restored, and that all honor, praise, and glory would be upon you. And let's just find a place, you know, uh, just, just give God a moment of your time to repent. That word repent means to think differently. Allow God's word to change your mind. The Bible says that our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. His ways are higher than ours. His thoughts are higher than ours. God is not a man that he should lie. Just lower it a little bit. But I believe God wants to stir your heart up. There's some of you that he's giving you the ministry of reconciliation. The ministry of mercy. Of love. And the Bible says in prayer, he gives us the authority to move mountains but listen to this but also to uproot the milk the, the milberry tree you could turn off some turn off the the, the video amen because we're pastor Lorena okay sorry about that so we're just going to get into personal prayer right now but God gives us authority to uproot 